Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about prime and composite numbers from 51 to 60. It's very simple and easy. Now let's move on the video. Prime and composite numbers from 51 to 60. We already learn about prime and composite numbers. Prime number has only two factors. Composite number has more than two factors. Okay, how to find a number prime or composite? We have to find all the factors of a number. Then only we can say that number is prime or composite. Let's see for 51. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 51, 51. 51 is not multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is not even number. So, 51 is not multiple of 2. 51 is a multiple of 3. We know divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 51 which is 5 plus 1, 6. 6 is a multiple of 3. So, when we divide 51 by 3, we got quotient 17. Here, 17 is a another factor of 51. So, 3 is 70, 51. 51 is not multiple of 4. 51 is not multiple of 5. There is no combination of 51. We learn table of 2 to 12. There is no combination of 51. This method only for 2 digit, not 3 digit. At last we got 17 are 3, 51. Now we got all the factors of a number because 3 and 17 occurred earlier. 1, 3, 17, 51. Factors of 51, 1, 3, 17, 51. We learn a number get only two factors. That number is composite number. So, 51 is a composite number. Next, 52. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 52, 52. 52 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is even number. So, when we divide 52 by 2, we got quotient 26. Here 26 is here another factor of 52. 2 saw 26, 52. 52 is not multiple of 3. We learn divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 52, we get 7. 7 is not multiple of 3. So, 52 is not multiple of 3. Next, we have to check with 4. 52 is a multiple of 4. When we divide 52 by 4, we got quotient 13. 13 is a another factor of 52. 4 are 13, 52. There is no combination of 52. So, we got at last 13 are 4, 52. We have to stop here. 4 and 13 occurred earlier. Now we got all the factors of 52. 1, 2, 4, 13, 26, 52. Factors of 52, 1, 2, 4, 13, 26 and 52. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is a composite number. So 52 is a composite number. Next, 53. One is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 53, 53. 53 is not multiple of 2. 53 is not multiple of 3. There is no combination of 53. So, at last, 53 multiple of 53, which is 53 is our 1, 53. Factors of 53, 1 and 53. We learn a number got only two factors, that number is prime number. So, 53 is a prime number. Next, 54. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 54, 54. 54 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1 space is even number. So, when we divide 54 by 2, we got quotient 27. Here, 27 is a another factor of 54. So, 2s are 27, 54. 
54 is a multiple of 3. We learn divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 54, which is 5 plus 4, 9. 9 is multiple of 3. When we divide 54 by 3, we got quotient 18. 18 is a another factor of 54. So, 3s are 18, 54. 54 is not multiple of 4. 54 is not multiple of 5. 54 is a multiple of 6, which is 6 or 9, 54. 54 is not multiple of 7. 54 is not multiple of 8. At last, 54 is a multiple of 9, which is 9 or 6, 54. Now, we have to stop here because 6 and 9 occurred earlier. Now, we got all the factors of 54. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, 54. Factors of 54. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, 54. We learn a number got more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 54 is a composite number. Next. 55. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 55, 55. 55 is not multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is not even number. 55 is not multiple of 3. When we add the digit of 55, we get 10. 10 is not multiple of 3. 55 is not multiple of 4. 55 is a multiple of 5, which is 5 are 11, 55. At last, 55 is a multiple of 11, which is 11 are 5, 55. Now, we got all the factors of 55 because 5 and 11 have occurred earlier. So, now we got all the factors of 55. 1, 5, 11, 55. Factors of 55, 1, 5, 11, 55. We learn a number got more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 55 is a composite number. Next, 56. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 56, 56. 56 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is even number. So, 56 is a multiple of 2. When we divide 56 by 2, we get quotient 28. Here, 28 is a another factor of 56. So, 2s are 28, 56. 56 is not multiple of 3. We already learned divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 56, which is 5 plus 6, 11. 11 is not multiple of 3. So, 56 is not multiple of 3. But 56 is a multiple of 4. When we divide 56 by 4, we get quotient 14. Here, 14 is a another factor of 56. Which is 4 are 14, 56. 56 is not multiple of 5. 56 is not multiple of 6. 56 is a multiple of 7. Which is 7 are 8, 56. 56 is a multiple of 8, which is 8 are 7, 56. Now, we got all the factors of 56 because 7 and 8 have occurred earlier. So, now we got all the factors of 56. 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 14, 28, 56. Factors of 56, 1, 2, 4, 7, 8. 14, 28, 56. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 56 is a composite number. Next, 57. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 57, 57. 57 is not multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is not even number. So, 57 is not multiple of 2. 57 is a multiple of 3. We learn divisible rule of 3. When we add the digit of 57, which is 5 plus 7, 
12. 12 is a multiple of 3. So, 57 is a multiple of 3. When we divide 57 by 3, we get quotient 19. Here, 19 is a another factor of 57. So, 3 is 19, 57. Next, 57 is not multiple of 4. 57 is not multiple of 5. We learn table of 2 to 12. There is no combination of 57. So, at last, 19 is 3, 57. Now, we have to stop here. 3 and 19 occurred earlier. Now, we got all the factors of 57. 1, 3, 19, 57. Factors of 57. 1, 3, 19 and 57. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, 57 is a composite number. Next, 58. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 58, 58. 58 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is even number. When we divide 58 by 2, we get quotient 29. Here, 29 is a another factor of 58, which is 2s are 29, 58. There is no combination of 58. So, at last, 58 multiple of 29. Here, 29 are 2, 58. Now, we got all the factors of 58 because 2 and 29 occurred earlier. Factors of 58, 1, 2, 29 and 58. We learn a number get more than 2 factors. That number is composite number. So, 58 is here. Composite number. Next, 59. We learn 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 59, 59. Next, 59 is not multiple of 2. 59 is not multiple of 3. We learn a table of 2 to 12. There is no combination of 59. This method only for two digit, not three digit. You have to remember this. This method only for two digit, not three digit. 59. At last, 59 multiple of 59, which is 59 are 1, 59. Factors of 59, 1 and 59. We learn a number get only two factors. That number is prime number. So, 59 is a prime number. Next, 60. 1 is a factor of every number. So, 1s are 60, 60. 60 is a multiple of 2 because in the 1s place is even number. So, 60 is a multiple of 2. When we divide 60 by 2, we get quotient 30. Here, 30 is a another factor of 60, which is 2s are 30, 60. 60 is a multiple of 3. We learn divisible rule of 3. When we add the 60, we get 6. When we add the digit of 60, we get 6. 6 is a multiple of 3. So, when we divide 60 by 3, we get quotient 20. Here, 20 is a another factor of 60, which is 3s are 20, 60. 60 is a multiple of 4. When we divide 60 by 4, we get quotient 15. 15 is a another factor of 60. So, 4s are 15, 60. 60 is a multiple of 5. We know in the one space is 0 or 5. That number multiple of 5. Here 0. So, 60 is a multiple of 5. When we divide 60 by 5, we get quotient 12. Here 12 is a another factor of 60. So, 5s are 12, 60. 60 is a multiple of 6. We know 
6 or 10? 16. 60 is not multiple of 7. 60 is not multiple of 8. 60 is not multiple of 9. At last, 60 is a multiple of 10, which is 10 or 6. 60. Now we got all the factors of 60 because 6 and 10 have occurred earlier. So now we got all the factors of 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. Factors of 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. We learn a number get more than two factors. That number is composite number. So, so 60 is a composite number. Now, prime numbers of 51 to 60, 53, 59. Composite numbers of 51 to 60, 51, 52, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 60. I hope you understand the concept of prime and composite numbers. Thank you for watching. And please share your feedback and comment in the video comment section. And please comment down below which step have you reached today. It for the today's video. Thanks for watching.